How's it going guys? I uh, just want to come and answer a bunch of questions that I'm getting. I have a lot of people trying kettlebells for the first time or want to get into them, which is just awesome. So I want to kind of clear the air with some of the basics. Um, and the most question I get is what weight kettlebell should I buy? If you can find any right now, um, this is kind of how I break it down. So if someone is a novice or is just looking for a light kettlebell to do high rep workouts, then this first tier is going to be great. So about 44 pounds for men, 26 pounds for women. So if you're a very novice, that might be a little heavy to do one arm movements at first, but I promise you, you're gonna get a lot stronger and it's gonna be a great weight to stick with for a long time. If you're someone already into fitness or you wanna take your, your fitness to the next level, maybe to like a level of a kettlebell certification or just being in good, strong fitness, I would recommend this middle tier. So for men, that's a 53 pounds and women is a 35. And I think this level is a great one or even the one before to get two kettlebells out if you can. If you can get two kettlebells, that opens up a whole different world of workouts. You can actually do some hypertrophy work. So doubles of either of these two bells is a great idea. But the middle tier being the standard weight for strong in the kettlebell world. The final tier is, is if you want something heavy, if you're someone who's already pretty strong, maybe you just want it for swings, goblet squats, heavy carries, this bottom step, and they make plenty heavier. So if you're really strong, then then by all means get heavier than this, but 70 pounds for men, 53 for women is a good weight for two arm movement, two leg movement. So uh, then it comes down to like, what should I do? I don't know where to start. And beginning with the basics is good for anybody. Uh, whether you're an advanced lifter or a newbie, just using the kettlebell to hone your basic movements is going to be a great idea. So that comes down to our, our deadlift, which would be our hip hinge, which also turns into the swings. So same movement, just different trajectory of the kettlebell. The squat, which can be done goblet squat or two kettlebell squat. Uh, kettlebell press, either standing from the floor. If you can't do that, then push ups are still awesome, so that's fine too. If you can't press the weight you get, push ups are great, they'll get you there. Any kind of rowing movement is great for the shoulders and back. Carrying the kettlebells, so whether it's two of them at your side, a farmer's carry, one of them, two here, one overhead, any way you can pick up a kettlebell and carry it is going to work the body in different ways than standing still exercises. And then any kind of step up or lunge that you can incorporate uh, is great for the hips and knees. And if you only did that for forever, you'd be in pretty good shape and you'd feel pretty good. So, And then it comes into how do we apply it. So it comes a lot of what weight do you have or what are your goals. So some of my most common uses, I still love three sets, 10 reps, five exercises, that, that's a killer workout. It always works, it builds great muscle and good fitness. If you wanna be a little more creative than that, uh, and kind of play with the different bells you have, then we can use ladders, and ladders are great. So say you, have, you wanna pick, and one exercise is heavy, you can do it for five. For something else, it might be medium, you do it for 10 is more muscle building, and then for conditioning, you do 20. So I love three exercises, five, 10, 20. For instance, five presses, 10 goblet squats, 20 swings. Great workout, hit that for five rounds. Or we can have our step up ladder. So we have a weight that is maybe too easy for five, but we can't do 15 straight. You do one press, one press, two, two, three, three, and go all the way up to five. That's gonna give you 15 reps without having to hit 15 reps straight. So that's a way the kettlebells are, are kind of fun to ladder. And then reverse end is going like 10 reps down to one. Uh, there's a way to get in like 55 reps of something without having to do that many straight. Uh, it was a great conditioning workout. If you are just looking for strength or you just have a heavy kettlebell, then five sets of five reps is a great strategy to use to get stronger. It still works. Um, and then one of my personal favorites is 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. You get as many reps as you can in that 30 seconds, and you rest 30 seconds. If you need to increase the rest time, that's great, but this is a challenging workout for anybody for about 20 to 30 minutes. You get a ton of reps, great cardiovascular workout, um, and it really doesn't matter what weight you use or exercise you pick, it's going to get pretty hard. So, I hope this clears up just basics of kettlebells. If you have any more questions, shoot them my way. I love answering these kind of questions, and I'll try to pump out some more videos as we go. See ya.